Hey YouTube, this is a tutorial on how to integrate your Neato BotVac with Samsung SmartThings and Google Home. And if you're like me, you've maybe done a Google search and you've come across a forum that uh, has some instructions already on how to do this and, and maybe you found it confusing like I did, not being a software developer. Um, but uh, this is going to explain step by step how to um, set this up. It's not as difficult as it might seem if you're not really that savvy in computers. So there's a link to get to this forum um, in the video description. So um, I've got a few tabs set up here that I'll be going through. This is um, uh, from the Smart Things Community Forum. It was a uh, post done by Alex Lee. It's called Neato Connect version 1.1.7 bought back connected series. If you scroll down in this forum, you'll find uh, an installation guide. Uh, we're going to vary slightly from this installation guide because um, I found um, a couple, there's a couple of ways you can do this and one of them wasn't working for me. So I'm going to give you the, the version of the installation that worked for me. But more or less, it's going to follow um, similar steps. Below this, there are two GitHub links. And these are the um, repositories for the code for two different um, apps. The first box here relates to the Neato Connect app, which will um, eventually show up in your SmartThings app on your phone. And the second one is a device handler, a device, what is it called, a device enabler or device handler. And um, uh, you need to enable both of these in Samsung Smart Things to get it to work. So um, you also need a GitHub account. So maybe what you can do now is uh, go on over to github.com and if you haven't got an account already, just quickly sign up for one. I'm going to sign into mine and I'll just leave that in the background. And then uh, go on over to the Smart Things Developer Login. You'll um, obviously need a Smart Things Hub, the Neato Bot Vac or a Neato Vacuum that has the Wi Fi connectivity. And you need to have a Smart Things account and a Neato account set up. So there's a link in the description on getting through to the Smart Things Developer Login. Uh, this is a different login from just your regular account. This is where you need to go to access some of the back-end stuff um, in the SmartThings environment. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click Login. And you get through to a page here that um, along the top there are a bunch of links. There's my location, my hubs, my devices, my smart apps, my device handlers. So we're going to be using mainly the My Smart Apps and My Device Handlers options in this. Um, but uh, if you click on My Locations, um, you can see there's uh, some uh, information populated there. And if you click on the next one, My Hubs, um, you should see uh, this all populated. Now, you may, you may get a screen that says you don't have any hubs connected. And that happened to me the first time. So if that happens to you, uh, go back to My Locations, and then uh, under Name, um, there's a link uh, here called Home. And if you click on that, it'll take you through to another login screen. It's not doing that to me uh, at this point. But just log in again, and then you'll get through to um, a screen that's populated with some information that relates to your Smart Things Hub. Um, and now if you go back to my hubs, you can see that it's now populated with all my home hub information and all of my devices. So now that that's all set up, we're going to go over and go into my smart apps. And now it says, you don't have any apps yet. Add one now. On the top right, there's a button that says enable GitHub integration. So this is why we created our GitHub account. So you click on enable GitHub integration. And um, I've already gone through this process, so it's not going to work exactly the same for me. But you click on Authorize. Um, it might ask you to log in to your GitHub account through here. But mine's already gone through that. So if I go back, now um, I've got a few more options in the My Smart Apps here. 
there's some a button for commit changes, update from re repository. There's settings um, and new smart app. Uh, the version of instructions on this forum ask you to create a new smart app and insert copy and paste code. I'm going to um, take a different approach here um, that worked for me. And uh, if you click on settings, um, you can see that it comes up with uh, your uh, GitHub repository. Um, I'm going to click on add a new repository. And we're going to add the account for the creator of these apps, um, which is ALYC100. And then under name, it's going to be smart things public. Uh, I'm going to click save. And I'm going to actually delete the one that's associated to my account here. I'm going to click save again. Get out of that. If I click settings, um, it may do this to you and it may come up with like two accounts uh, related to Alex, but um, I'll just delete one of them, click save again. Bit of a glitch there. And if I go back to settings, now it's showing uh, Alex's account. Um, and now what you do is you click on update from repository and then you get a little button that says smart things public click on that and you get a window with um, a whole bunch of uh, options in here and uh, it's a little hard to find so if you just click control F and you get a little search window you can type in Neato, you can see it's highlighted a couple options just down from the top, but three quarters of the way down. There's two highlights here. So um, there's one uh, with a longer name on it and one with a shorter one that's just an icon. Uh, this was the one here that you want to enable. So you just click on this little tick box here and click Execute Update. And now you can see that this is um, showing up in my Smart Apps. Uh, the next thing we do is we click on the name of the app and then on the top right click save and then click publish and then click for me and now it says smart app has been published successfully and now click on the button that says app settings on the top right and you can see it's already populated with the information the author is uh, Alex Chung and there's some options down here. We want to click on OAuth, and there's a button here that says Enable OAuth and Smart App. And then scroll all the way to the bottom and then click Update. And now it says it's Updated Smart App. So if we go back to my Smart Apps, you can see it's got the um, app says the status is published, OAuth says true, and you're done with the first uh, GitHub repository. So now we go over to my device handlers. And I'm clicked, I've clicked on that and it's just going to open it up in a second. It says you don't have any device handlers yet. So basically we're going to do a similar process here. We're going to click on update from repository and then click on smart things public and you get another drop down menu and um, if you, you can actually see it here there's a, there's a whole bunch of neato options here um, I'll just do what I did before and click search and uh, the, the one you need is the very first one that comes up it's the uh, neato bot back connected series dot SRC it's this one here so I'm gonna click uh, highlight that or sorry click the tick box next to that one, don't worry about all the ones underneath, and click Execute Update. And similar thing, you have now see it's come up in your uh, device handler list. Click on the name of the... Uh, and then click Save, and then Publish. And then Publish for me again. And it says Device Published Successfully. For this one, you don't need to do uh, the OAuth 
authorization again. So now I go back to my device handlers and it's all ready to go there. So basically that's what you need to do in the smart things developer options. Um, now we're going to switch over to my phone. Uh, so here we go. So uh, we're going to go into the Samsung Smart Things app. And on automation, uh, on the top here, um, it's got an option for smart apps. And then on the bottom here, you want to connect at add a smart app. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll notice uh, this is not what was not there before. Uh, but you click on my apps and then you can see that the Neato Connect app is now available to you. So you click on that. And on here it says, uh, click to enter Neato credentials. So we're gonna tap that. And this one's automatically, you may have to put in log information, but for me, um, it's already said, your Neato account is now connected to SmartThings. So click done on the top right. And on here it says choose your Neato bot fax. So tap to select your bot fax. It says select, it says one's found, tap to set it. Neato bot fax, mine is named Meg Neato. So highlight, click the tick box and click done. And then click done again. And then click done one more time. And take a few seconds, but it's now setting that up. Successfully added Neato Connect. So now you can see amongst all of your uh, smart apps, you've got the Neato Connect one showing up. And now if I go to my home, um, it's now showing up here. So you can uh, select the Neato bot back. It's connected and it's docked, which is correct. Um, if this is red and it's not coming up with any information, just give it a few minutes and it should come on again um, and uh, and connect to it. So go back home and now I'm going to open up uh, the Google Home app. And uh, on here we go into Home Control. And in Devices, um, you want to add a new device. Oops. So we're just going to click add and then it's the smart things device and we're going to go check for new devices. And it's going to might it's going to ask you to log in. So I've it's already logged in for me and I got a drop down menu. Um, go to my home. And then here you can see there's a new option for the Neato bot back. So I'm going to tick that and click authorize. And it's now asking me to assign it to a room. My vacuum is sitting in my living room. So I pick living room and select done. And now we've got the Neato bot back connected on Google Home Control. And now if I yell out the door here, we'll see if it works. Hey Google, start my vacuum. Sorry, I'm not sure how to help with that yet. Hey Google, turn on my vacuum. Sorry, I'm not sure how to help okay. that It's actually, it might take a few minutes. But we go uh, into home control. Uh, let's go back into smart things. And select the bot back. It's actually started it up. I don't know if you can hear that in the background. Not stop. Anyhow, you get the point. It's all working. Um, I'm just gonna go back to Google Home again and make sure this is all Correct. Smart things. Needle bot back. Oh, okay. One more step. 
this is why it wasn't working. I haven't set the name yet. So I'm just going to call it vacuum. Okay. Now let's try that again. Hey Google, turn on my vacuum. Sure, the vacuum on. There it goes. So you got to name it. Hey Google, stop my vacuum. All right, it can't hear me. But you get the point. So that's how you uh, set all of that up. I hope you uh, learned from this video. If you have any questions, um, try and uh, you can leave a comment. I'll try and help you out. And if you liked the video and found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. So thanks for watching. Um, have a great day. Peace.